Um, he could have easily denounced the blatant racism and white supremacy that took place on that day, but personally took his chances to just go easy and just saying it was differing in opinions, which it was in the worst way possible. And he could have easily gone into more depth of why we need to denounce these issues and really need to kick them out head on. But personally, he just let it slide and it wasn't enough for me. Clark University is in Worcester, Maine South. We see police brutality all the time. We saw officers from our campus and off campus, how they treated Black Lives Matter protesters from Clark and of the city community members. I just want to point out that we saw point blank the differences between how officers at the Capitol treated these white supremacists when it's a direct attack on black people, a direct attack on people of color, there's always a lack of consequences for white folks. And in this case, it was white supremacists. These white supremacists, these fascists, not only does it dismiss the gravitude of what happened and how consistently it has happened, it also hurts because we have consistently, as the Black Student Union, have had to retell our traumas that have taken, taken place on campus with students, faculty, staff, um, treating us lesser than, treating us differently, and also having to endure watching the white folks who are able to get away with being ignorant. We have to watch them get away with it without any consequences to their actions. That's when Clark frames these types of events, um, these types of attacks of white supremacy as like shocking or unprecedented. It's when there was evidence and many testimonies of violence, not even by white supremacists, just towards like, you know, the people who are sitting at our nation's capital, but towards black folks, towards marginalized folks. Um, and for the violence to only be taken seriously when it's you know, at that highest level and not when it's in instances of being microaggressed or being cyberbullied um, for your race, for, for who you are online, et cetera. Um, and it just shows how tone deaf this institution is and how in denial it is of um, white supremacy and frankly of enabling it because of its refusal to take responsibility for the fact that it was fascism and white supremacy. By many Clark students on social media, be expressive about their white supremacy. And it is exactly what it is, white supremacy. So when we bring it to their attention, it it's almost as if we're not allowed to call it for what it is because then we have to treat it for what it is. And what happened on January 6th, the white supremacist capital attack was exactly what it is and what it leads to when we continue to let people go without consequences, when they show it in settings like higher education. No peace!